Let's now look at SMTP archiving with Enterprise Vault. First of all, let's consider why archive SMTP emails. The first and primary reason is that you can archive all emails for compliance and e-discovery. Now we can do that with journal archiving as well, but the real benefit of SMTP archiving is that we can take the emails directly out of Exchange or Domino and out of cloud providers such as Office 365 directly to Enterprise Vault via SMTP emails. We can also archive printed or scanned documents. Basically, any device that can send an SMTP email can be archived. We can also archive emails from applications. So maybe line of business applications can send emails and we can archive those. So let's look at the architecture of SMTP archiving. So our SMTP traffic over TLS or SSL is coming into our Enterprise Vault server and it's received first of all by an SMTP service. All the emails that are received by that service are sent to the SMTP holding folder which is just an ordinary folder on the server. The SMTP archiving task then sees the EML files within that holding folder and archives them according to the configuration. So what you do is you set up email address targets and the SMTP archiving task will archive emails that are to those targets. So in our example there, we've got a couple of journal addresses, evsmtp1 at smtp.local and evsmtp2 at smtp.local. So any emails to that journal address are going to be archived. In addition, we can archive just ordinary emails to users, in this case, john.smith at example.com. Any emails that don't match an email address target will not be archived and will be deleted from the holding folder. We also need to define a number of archives which are going to receive these emails from the address targets. And we can create these in any type of archive, but there is a special SMTP archive, which is probably the best one to use. There are three deployment scenarios for SMTP archiving. The simplest is SMTP journaling, where we just have a single journal address and we just archive all our emails coming from Exchange or coming from Office 365. We can do selective SMTP journaling, where we only archive emails for particular groups of users. We can also do SMTP mailbox journaling. With SMTP mailbox journaling, we're actually archiving the individual mailbox messages for users. So now I want to do a demonstration of SMTP archiving. So we're on my Enterprise Vault server, and the first thing I'm going to show you is the SMTP service. So if I go into the services console and go down the list, you'll notice I've got an SMTP service here, Enterprise Vault SMTP service. This is added when I install the SMTP archiving components. It's one of the prerequisites for setting up SMTP archiving. So I'm in the administration console here and I want to show you a few of the different settings. So first of all, under targets, go to SMTP and I'm going to right click here and go to properties. So one of the first things you need to do, and you only need to do this once, is set up the SMTP properties. This configures things like the TCP port that your SMTP service is listening on, the default is port 25 whether or not you're using authentication, and very importantly, whether you're using encryption. In this demonstration, to keep things simple, I'm using an unencrypted connection. This isn't recommended and really should specify that it should be allow encrypted connections only. When you do that, you need to actually import a security certificate to make that work. You obviously need to have an archive that's going to receive all these emails and I've already created an archive. So we go into archives and then SMTP. I've got an archive called EV Journal 1. So that's already configured. If we view the archiving task, so that's under the server here. And then tasks. Notice that I've got an SMTP archiving task and it's in the processing state. This task processes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
you just go to the properties of that task and go on to the holding folder You'll notice I've already defined a holding folder. This is required for the SMTP archiving task. So when the SMTP service receives emails, they're going to be placed in this folder, D SMTP holding, and then the archiving task is going to take them out of that holding folder. I have already created uh, an address target. So that's under SMTP. And, you know, if I could go here, new target email address, but I've already created one. This is for my journal address, evjournal1 at smtp.local. And I need to specify the SMTP policy, the retention category, and the archive. You'll notice this is pointed to the archive that I already showed you. So I'm just going to restart this task because previous to starting this demonstration, I did make some changes to the configuration. One thing you need to be aware of is you make any changes like creating target addresses or anything like that, you do need to restart the SMTP archiving task for it to work. So now I'm going to use OWA to create an email and send it to a user. I'm going to create an email to Diana Palmer. And this email should get journaled by the Exchange server and then get sent to the SMTP holding folder. So if we open up and go to D and then to SMTP holding. You notice that uh, I've got a folder here for the 27th. It's the 27th of April today. So this is the hour and the minute. So there's the EML file that's been sent from Exchange via the journal rule and is now sitting in the holding folder waiting for the archiving task to archive it. It takes about a minute or two for it to be archived, another minute or so to be indexed. So we'll just wait for this to complete and then we can go and have a look and see whether it's worked properly. So you can see the email's now been removed from the SMTP holding folder and it's now being archived and indexed and we'll shortly be able to go and see whether it's worked properly. So let's go now and see whether it's been archived successfully. So I'm going to go into where the archives are and right click on the archive and choose search archive. This will bring up the EV search tool and what I'll be looking for in the inbox is our message. So that just shows that it's worked with testing SMTP archiving. So that email has been archived now by the SMTP archiving task. So that brings to the end of this demonstration of how SMTP archiving works.